Hey folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Got a surprise for you. We're gonna go up and see the baby goats. We got four new baby goats last night. We've been expecting one goat to have babies, but just so happens, two goats had babies. I think one had triplets and one had a single. Cutest little baby goat you ever saw. I'll take you up there and show you the little baby goats, but first we got some work to do. We gotta load up some canning jars and put them in the old tobacco barn. So come on along, we'll have a little bit of fun today, show you what's going on on the farm and show you the cute new baby goats. All right, woo! <laughs> So inside these containers, these totes, are all canning jars. When people find out that you can, and they've been canning for years and years, but they've given up on it, they'll give you tons of canning jars, because country people can't bear to throw anything away. So nice. So I have tote after tote after tote of canning jars. We're gonna load them up and get them out of the garage, because they don't need to be in dry storage so much and in the way. So we're gonna take them up to the tobacco barn. Some of these canning jars date back to the early, early 1900s. Really cool to use something like that that's been used for so many years. Let's think of all the families that have been fed by these old canning jars. Check that guy out. Who knows what kind of moonshine was in that? Might have been some good moonshine. That's a load of canning jars. So a lot of you folks have been asking like, where is, what is, what is, where is everything? So we're basically back behind the house, probably a hundred yards behind the house. And that's where our tobacco barn is. And that's where we keep all of our farm implements and stuff like that in a centralized location here on the farm. And this is the tobacco barn. We're gonna back up to the barn here and hopefully not run over or run into anything. One thing I've learned being on a farm, you kind of get used to bumping into stuff sometimes, which is kind of a bad thing. So sometimes with a tractor, I'll be working and I'll bump into the trees or I'll bump into something. And here lately, when I back up, I accidentally almost bump into stuff with my wife's truck and she doesn't like that. <laughs> Let's go in the tobacco barn. I'll show you what it's all about. All right, in we go. So the door to the tobacco barn is really, really low. I'm. Uh, I'm really squatting down. This is my shoulder and I'm not even standing straight up high. The door in this thing's really small. Ugh. So the tobacco barn is a circa, I want to say turn of the century, probably 1910-ish uh, building. This is a building where they hung tobacco up. Back in the old days, they used to dry tobacco in this building. It's really, really interesting. Eventually, we're gonna make a cabin where people can come and stay on the farm. People like you can come stay on the farm, kind of live that farm life and enjoy a little bit of the farm with us. We'll keep you posted on the vlogs as we turn this thing, transform it into something really cool, a cool cabin, kind of a primitive cabin where you can come and stay. Let me pan the camera around a little bit. It's really dark in here, so it's kind of hard to get a good shot, but it seems like lighting's okay. So let's pan the camera around a little bit for you. Up in the rafters, these things are called pier poles, okay? The pier poles had strings or wires running in between them, and that's where they hung up the old tobacco. So this probably brings back a lot of memories for a lot of folks that, you know, grew up in the tobacco belt here in North Carolina, Virginia, South Carolina, all that stuff. You know, tobacco was the original cash crop. Well, I think cotton was the original cash crop, and then tobacco took over. It's nice and cool in here. It stays a pretty constant, like, I don't know, 60, 55, 60 degrees. Even in the dead of winter, it's probably, you know, the temperature stays more steady in this building. So we can use it to hang hams if we decided to do that, if we decided to uh, start curing hams and stuff. So we still don't know exactly what we're gonna do with this building. If it's too dilapidated to turn into a cabin for folks to come and stay, we may make it into a smokehouse. That's pretty much what it was, was a smokehouse for drying tobacco. Pretty awesome. You can see right here, packed in to these holes. Anytime it got a hole in it, they just packed mud in. And these are just logs with mud packed in them. 
really interesting, really neat. As long as I keep the roof good in this building, it'll last from now on. So I'll finish unloading these jars. These containers each probably weigh about mm, 55, 60 pounds. That's a lot of canning jars. We're saving back some jars for my friends in Ohio. We have some Amish friends in Ohio. And when we go up next time, we'll take them a case of canning jars and trade off for a little bit of that delicious Amish soup they make. Man, that stuff was good. Really good. Folks, I'm really proud of Lexi, the dog. We trained her today a new trick. I'll show you. Load up. Good boy, Lexi. Load up. Load up. <laughs> Taught her how to load up. That's awesome. Now we have Buddy trained to only unload when we put our hand on his head so that he doesn't jump out of the truck while it's moving. Watch. Come here, buddy. Unload. Good boy. Now, load up. Good girls and boys. Good dog. Good boy. What a good boy. What a slobbery boy and a slobbery little girl. <laughs> <laughs> Love my dogs. Here's a message for all you folks that think I should put my dog down because it killed my neighbor's cat. We're really sorry about that, but you folks that think I should put the dog down and put it to death because of that, here's your message. We've got to go down and get the gator because we cannot drive the truck in the field. It's just too soft and mushy right now. All this new ground that we just tilled up, it's just too soft. You can't take a truck on it. Listen to how good the $100 truck starts. Boom shakalaka, baby. Nice. So earlier today I came up to check on the goats and I discovered something totally unexpected. I had no idea that we were going to have babies last night. So we had four new baby goats. I think one had triplets and one had a single baby. We'll show you. We'll get you a shot of the cute little babies. So for sure those two babies belong to that mother, but I had no idea that our white goat right here was pregnant also. <laughs> Look how tiny this little goat is. Isn't it cute? You need a baby. Gosh, I really love my life here on the farm. You little sweetie. Here you go. Go see mama. Now there's something concerning to me. There's a baby in here that's laying down. He should be up, he should be moving, he should be nursing. So we gotta check into that and see what's going on. Come on, you gotta get up, you gotta move. You gotta get up, you gotta go nurse with your little sister. Get up. Go ahead. Go nurse. Go nurse. You gotta go nurse. Good. Good. Good deal. Good deal. Isn't Mother Nature just something beautiful, guys? Good babies. Isn't it interesting that the white goat had one baby goat that was just pure white and one baby goat that's almost pure black. So cool, so cute, so neat to see nature like this, so neat to see farm animals grow and have babies. Really enjoy this. Guys, I'll get you a little more footage of the baby goats. I thank you so much for watching the farm vlog today. I came up here and I did find that I've got a little bit of work to do. I'll show you right here. So if you look, the fence is kind of buried up in the hay there. So I gotta get the pitchfork and clean all that up and get to work. So thanks a lot guys. Got work to do, got more stuff to do. I got spring fever, everything's beautiful. The flowers are starting to bloom. The honeybees are active. We're gonna get in those beehives soon too. So be sure you click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and be sure you click the like button and click that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed guys. Thanks a lot for joining me here. I'll get you some more footage of the pretty little baby goat. It's so beautiful to see nature at work. Thanks guys. In the land of the free and the home of the brave I'm proud of who I am and I'm proud of what I made on the stony reef.
When these goats are young, it's important to handle them a little bit. You know, get your hands on them. That way they get used to people. <laughs> Sometimes they don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's gonna hurt you. Come on. There you go.